Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I need to tell y'all another dream I just had. I just had last night. Um, actually, for a matter of fact. Basically, I think I was at church or something. And I was just getting out of church. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I was just leaving church. Everybody, you know, fellowship. Everybody fellowship after they leave church, so. But, um, for some, I walked outside. For some reason, I seen this big, huge planet. It looked like it was huge. It looked like, at first I thought it was the moon. I had to do a double take because I was like, I was like, is that the moon? But it was too big. It was like, it covered like a fifth of the sky. It was huge. That thing was huge. And it was like black. It was real dark. So it, I knew it wasn't the moon. But when I looked at it, all of a sudden I just thought, that's Planet X. And so it's crazy. I just had that dream last night. I just wanted to share that. But I want to say something to the young people. And um, people don't really talk about this, especially our age group. They don't talk about this. But young people, we got to get it right. We have to. God, he's very loving and he's kind. And he loves all his children. But the young people, though, he's pouring out his spirit on us. But the devil know that. The See, the people don't know this about the devil. The devil know the word, too. He knows what's in the Bible. He know it more than a lot of people know. And if he come to somebody and see that there's no word on them, there's no word present, that's how he can deceive you. Because the only way you can succeed in life is through the word of God. And so once you don't got no word present in your life, once you it's not abundant in you, when it's not written on the tablets of your heart, the devil can deceive you. And so the young people, my pastor told me this, who was in church, and I just feel the Holy Spirit flowing through me right now. We're not blinded in our eyes. The devil got us blinded in our mind. We're so us young people, and I say us, because I'm a young person too. I may not partake in them things no more, but I'm a young person too. But us young people, I'm not going to exclude myself, making it look like I'm such this high, holy person, because I'm not. I'm still human. But my eyes is open and open to the times that we're living in. The young people, our minds are blinded. We have to wake up, open up, open your eyes. It's like it's like we're spiritually in a deep sleep because a lot of young people don't even know what's going on. I know a lot of people, young young people I know, I used to hang with. They just focus on their, their activity. They don't focus nothing about God. Yeah, they may say, God, thank you for another day. They may say that. They may say that just to get likes on Facebook or just to, you feel me? Like, they just, it's just a facade. It's not, no, the thought of God there, the, the lifestyle that they live, the lifestyle I used to live. Nah, God has changed around me. He has turned me around. But as young people, we have to change our focus. Because the devil got his trick. And the devil come for the young people the most, too, in this time. He wanted us to think, oh, live your life and have fun. But live your life the wrong way. It's a good way to have fun. And that's with God. But if you live your life the wrong way, partying and drinking and all that, all that's doing is keep you bound, keeping you bound by spirits. Spirits you can't even see. But they affect you. There's spirits of addiction, spirits of anger, 
spirits of lust, all types of spirits. And so he wants us to, he wants us to be bound by those spirits so we can miss out on what God has called us. And even when that time has come for us to be changed in the twinkling of an eye, a lot of us will be caught in them sexual acts. A lot of us will be caught in them sins because that's, that's what the devil want. We have to change our focus. And I'm not perfect at all. I'm not. I don't try to be. But God has been doing so much in my life. It's just, it's amazing. It made me cry sometimes. My life completely changed. I'll never be the same. And I just want to reach every young person I know because it, he coming for us. Why you think so many young people dying so young? Most of the people that's dying right now in the United States, and I'm going to say United States because this is the country I live in, they're young. They're, they're in between the ages of 16 and like 30. That's young. That's very young. My dad, dad, my, my dad died at the age of 37. That's very young. Most of the people that's dying right now is young people. When they not dying of natural causes, they dying of getting shot. They dying of drug addiction, suicide. The three main things. The three main things. The violence, drug addiction, and suicide. All from the devil. Now everything that happens is not the devil's fault. You can't blame the devil for but them the three main things, them the three main tactics he used. Three. Natural causes and the um natural disasters, that's something different. But people is dying because of violence. Most of our young people are dying because of violence, drug addiction, and suicide. And Jesus, he's so close to coming back. He's too close. And we feel him. And the devil got a lot of us so tricked up that when it happens, people not even going to know what's going to happen. They not even going to know what's happening. And when the Antichrist come, and he going to say, you're going to have to get that chip, or you're going to have to get the mark of the beast, if you want to eat or live, so many people are going to so many people are going to get that because they're not built spiritually to fight against that. They're not. The fear in them of dying is going to take over them so much that when that, when that, it's not, it, it's already happening. But it's going to come at a time where it's no longer going to be an option. When that comes, yo, people, bruh, it's going to be crazy. I just want to. I just want to say that I can keep going and keep going. I'm not trying to go for too long, but I just, I just feel like I gotta say this, yo, because, bro, young people, bro, we gotta get right. We have to. We are the future of the world. We are the future of the whole wide world. Probably this is the most prophetic in generation most powerful, most knowledgeable generation that has ever been. It's statistically proven since the last 50 years. We have been the smartest generation, but the dumbest generation at the same time. Smartest, when I say smartest, I mean knowledgeable, but dumbest in decision-making. Dumb in decision-making. Not making the right decisions. And that's sad. Sometimes I wonder and I think I read um I read Old Testament and a lot, a lot of times I wonder and I think like wow like God was right there. Like 
God, he he showed his presence to them. People knew that he was real. People knew that God was real. A lot of them. Even though they still rebelled, they still knew. A lot of them worshipped him. Even though they still rebelled, God was still with them. It's funny, you look around, people don't even know he real. That's sad. It's that sad. You look around, people are so worried about the craziest stuff. People are so worried about Kevin Hart cheating on his wife. Oh, well. Who cares? They so caught up in other people's business. That's crazy. Get over it. And you don't act like you ain't never did nothing like that. Now, if you did, now that's different. But a lot of people done been in his situation like, it's not even that serious. They so caught in, in these challenges and these, these crazy challenges. These, this is crazy. Like, it's way more to life. It's way more to life. I think about Judgment Day all the time. I think about a lot of my decisions I make nowadays is how I think of how Judgment Day gonna be. Do I want do I want to be held accountable for this wrongdoing that I done? And if I do do a wrongdoing, I I repent quick, quick, with quickness. Cause I'm not no ain't letting nothing slide. Cause you don't know. You don't. I just asked that God. He just he just opened up the young people's minds. He just opened up, let them see spiritually. God just opened up their minds, and let them see more of you spiritually, so they won't be bound by these worldly sins and be condemned to the lake of fire. That's very scary. I, I look at a lot of people's testimonies about them going to hell and seeing that. That's very scary. Who would want to endure that? Who would want to go through that? You get in front of the Father after you didn't live your life, after you didn't partied all this time, you didn't did all this, and you didn't repent, and you get in front of the Father. And you talk about how, oh, I'll put, I'll put you, I like the, the amen post on Facebook. And I put, oh, thank you for another day on Facebook. And, and he going to say, depart from me. For I don't know you. That's scary. I try to get closer to God as much as I can. Not young people, we need to we need to really and I'm saying the young people. We need to open our eyes and stop being so blinded. Facebook can't save you from hellfire. Your boyfriend, your girlfriend can't save you from hellfire. Your parents, your pastor. He can steer you in the right direction. They can steer you in the right direction, but they can't save you from hell fire. Going to church can't save you from hell fire. Doing all good in your life with no Jesus can't save you from hell fire. You need Jesus. Confess and say that Jesus is your Lord, Lord and personal Savior. And he died on the cross and rose on the third day. And you'll be saved. It say in the Bible, you can't get to the Father without going through the Son. Because if you, if people that say they just believe in God, but not in Jesus, they don't really believe in God. Because they, they, they dissing his Son. 
How you gonna diss the son? How you gonna be cool with somebody dad but not them? That don't even make sense. You gotta love the son. You have to follow the son. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. And that's it. He's the only way. The only way. Ain't no other way to get in heaven. You have to go through the Son to get to the Father. Because if you don't, God don't want to hear nothing you got to say if you ain't trying to get with His Son, Jesus. He don't want to hear nothing you got to say. So I just wanted to spread that message, y'all. As young people, man, we got to start walking in blindness, walking in darkness. The young people, we, it's like, it's like we got a blindfold over our eyes spiritually and we just walking. We just walking. There's a hole at the end of the road. But we just walking. We don't even we don't know there's a hole at the end of the road. We don't know that it's a pothole at the end of the road. Cause we can't see it. We just walking. And then one day we so blinded. Boom. You fall in that pothole. Ain't no more coming back from it. Open your eyes so you can see that pothole and go around it. And that's all I wanted to say. God bless and I love y'all. We got to get it right, young people.